As a radiation oncologist who's interested in geriatrics, um, I do have to say, unfortunately, there are not as many radiation oncologists who are uh, um, geriatricians uh, as opposed to geriatric oncologists. But that being said, radiation as a modality is actually a very useful tool in older adults, depending on, uh, as opposed to systemic therapy, such as chemotherapy or endocrine therapy, um, the toxicity associated with radiotherapy is very dependent on the area that you're treating, as radiotherapy is a localized treatment. And so because of that, it can often be used uh, in conjunction uh, with other modalities or instead of other modalities in patients that may have worse functional status and may not be able to tolerate uh, high-dose systemic chemotherapy or uh, having to go under general anesthesia for surgery. And so um, I think that radiation oncologists need to become more involved in, in geriatric research as the vast majority of the patients that we're seeing in clinic are older adults. Um, and radiotherapy is often a very good option for those patients. Now there are, as true with any type of treatment, there are um, sometimes social issues that get involved, um, especially because radiotherapy tends to have to be a daily treatment. Uh, and so patients have to travel back and forth to home, uh, from home. Um, but uh, those types of social issues can be overcome. And because of the uh, often lower toxicity associated with radiotherapy, it is often a, a very good option for our older adults. And in addition, as a radiation oncologist who, um, because these are daily treatments, there are multiple opportunities to uh, identify issues that are occurring with the patients during treatment and also to intervene on some of these issues, including uh, issues, either social issues or functional status issues or cognitive issues. Uh, there are opportunities there for radiation oncologists to get involved in geriatric research. And so um, I'd like to plea, <laughs> put out a plea there for, for more radiation oncologists to become interested in geriatric research. And I think uh, we have a great opportunity to, to make a big impact in the field of geriatric oncology. Mm -hmm.